Next question is from Heather Kovacs. What supplements are worth spending big money on and which ones can I save on? Okay, so uh, I did. I went full circle with this as uh, a supplement uh, fanatic as a kid. I, you know, taking supplements for a long time. Um, at some point, I started to just look at the ingredient and then the lowest price, and I'm like, it's the same. This one's whey. That one says whey. This one says creatine. This one says whatever. That one says so. I'm just going to go with the cheapest price. Here's the deal with the supplement market. It is largely market regulated. Okay, so there's there's very few regulations in the supplement market. For standards, I'm not complaining. By the way, I love this. I love market regulations. We we get to pick what we want to buy and what we like. It also it, it really helps with innovation in supplements. So my supplement market is constantly changing uh, and, and evolving. Um, that being said, if your number one priority with supplements is the cheapest price, you're going to end up with shitty products for sure. And consider this: here's what you should spend the, the money on, or worth spend money on, supplements you take daily. If you take it daily. Then go for quality. And here's why. Mm -hmm. This happened recently by us. It was like a couple years ago. There was this huge consumer report that came out where they actually took a bunch of protein powders and they found a bunch of them were like exceptionally high in, in heavy metals. Yeah. Heavy metals build up in your system or and way low on the protein that it said it had in it. Lot, then that, and that happened. Yeah, protein spiking was a big thing. They for a while. did. Where they actually companies were putting, let's say it's 25 grams of protein per serving, but in reality it's like 10 grams of protein. But then they add the amino acids that get tested later to show that it has more. So you think you're taking 30 grams of protein, you're only taking 10 or 15. And, oh, but I spent, you know, uh, you know, say $5 on this bucket of, of protein. Right. Quality is super important. Uh, number one, you want to make sure that it has what it says it has. Good companies will have third-party testing. Um, number two, you definitely don't want to be taking something you don't know because like the heavy metals uh, you know, problem, that can become neurotoxic. So here you are, you're healthy, you're fit, you're taking your supplements, you think you're doing everything, and then you start getting weird symptoms. You can't figure out what's going on. Why do I feel like shit? I work out. Yeah. I eat right. Why am I getting tingling in my fingers? Or why am I why am I anxious all of a sudden? You have no idea that your your health supplement Weren't they finding is a you. lot of that uh with fillings from like the dentist, like the using like specific types of metals. Like, oh mercury. Mercury, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, yeah, the protein powder one was a big one. And guess what? The ones that were the worst were the vegan organic ones that they, they found a lot of them in. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. because of the the pesticides they use were, were the other thing you could save money on I think that's I the thing that's been blown out of uh, proportion right now is the uh, creatines the creatine market because so much research has come around that and we all agree that it's the best it's, if not it's created all these different versions exactly yes. now everybody's adding all because it, it drove the price down which is great right so it's made basic old plain creatine pretty cheap to get a hold of. But because of that, there's terrible margins in it. So supplement companies are, oh, okay, let's add this now to say it's better, it's faster absorbing, or let's yeah. add this. Yeah. So this creatine fizzes when you put yeah. it in your water. Yeah, do this one so you get recovery added with it. And so they start adding all these other things and then selling the added benefits or why their creatine is better. So one of the ways you can save a ton of money is don't go buy, don't buy into all the hype around other types of creatine. Get plain ass creatine cre monohydrate. Yes, that's the one that has all the studies. It's the one that shows that it works the best. Um, it's the one in comparison with others it has the greatest absorption. All the other creatine versions are a waste of extra money. Some of them are fine, and it's really and it's hard to pixie dust, right? So there's a lot of like pixie dusting in the supplement industry yeah. where you add because you have so much stuff. And you don't realize how much of the stuff that you want in that supplement isn't really in there when it's just purely creatine monohydrate. That's yeah. all there is. Yeah. That's what's in there. So yeah. what you get, what you read on it, is what you get. Yeah, there was a supplement back in the day. I'm going to talk to all the all the older lifters listening right now. There was a supplement called Hot Stuff back in the day. Do you guys remember Hot Stuff? You remember that bottle? I vaguely remember. Okay, so it was called Hot Stuff, and the reason why it was popular, it, apparently they changed the formula. Apparently the original one was people loved it, but anyway, Hot Stuff was popular because in the ingredients it had every single new and cool supplement in the bottle. <laughs> I just threw it all in. <laughs> Everything. So you'd, open, you'd buy it and you'd be like, oh my God, this has, uh, it's got, you know, Smilax. It's got Yohimbi. It's got Sal Palmetto. It's got, you know, it's got Ectisterone. It's got, and literally it would be this ingredient list that was like a hundred things long. But what you don't realize is it's, they put like, you know, it's like, you know, two like particles a, of a it. Sprinkle. Yeah, yeah. In there. And then yeah. they can say that they have it in there right. if they actually did. Really it was just an expensive uh, protein powder. Yeah, spend money on quality food.